Once upon a time, in a small town nestled deep within a dense forest, there stood an old, decrepit house. The townsfolk whispered tales of its haunting and the dreadful events that had taken place within its walls. It was said that anyone who dared to enter never returned the same, if they returned at all. The house had long been abandoned, left to rot in solitude. Its once grand architecture was now a faded memory, covered in layers of dirt and moss. Windows were shattered, allowing the wind to whistle eerily through the hollow spaces within. The garden, once vibrant and lush, had become an overgrown maze of thorns and weeds, a foreboding barrier to keep intruders away. One dark and stormy night, a man named Samuel, known for his fearless disposition, found himself drawn to the house. Intrigued by the legends and fueled by an insatiable curiosity, he decided to uncover the truth that lay hidden behind the crumbling walls. With a flashlight in hand and his heart pounding in his chest, Samuel approached the dilapidated structure. As he stepped across the threshold, a chill gripped his bones, and an overwhelming sense of unease washed over him. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, and the silence was suffocating. Samuel's footsteps echoed ominously through the hallway, and the floor creaked beneath his weight. The flickering light of his flashlight cast eerie shadows that seemed to dance along the walls. As he ventured deeper into the house, he began to hear faint whispers echoing through the corridors. It was as if the walls themselves were murmuring secrets from the past. Samuel's heart raced, but his curiosity pushed him further. He followed the whispers, his footsteps growing louder in the dead silence. Suddenly, a door slammed shut behind him, trapping Samuel in a small, dimly lit room. Panic surged through his veins as he frantically searched for an exit, but the room seemed devoid of any openings. Desperation gripped him as he realized he was not alone. From the shadows emerged a figure, tall and menacing, its features hidden beneath a tattered cloak. Samuel's heart pounded in his chest as he watched the figure approach, its steps slow and deliberate. The air grew colder, and the room seemed to close in around him. The figure spoke in a voice that sent shivers down Samuel's spine, a voice that seemed to emanate from deep within the bowels of the earth. You dare to trespass in my domain, it hissed, its words dripping with malice. Now, you shall never leave. Samuel's mind raced, desperately searching for a way to escape. With a burst of adrenaline, he lunged forward, trying to push past the figure blocking his path. But as he made contact, his hand passed through it as if it were made of smoke. The figure let out a bone-chilling laugh, filling the room with an otherworldly sound. Realizing escape was futile, Samuel resigned himself to his fate. The figure advanced, its cold, bony fingers closing around his throat. Darkness enveloped his vision as he gasped for air, his life force slipping away. The last thing Samuel heard was the figure's haunting laughter echoing in his ears. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, but Samuel never returned. 
the townsfolk whispered in hushed tones, recounting the tale of the man who dared to enter the house, never to be seen again. The legends of the malevolent figure and the cursed dwelling grew, dissuading even the bravest souls from approaching the accursed place. And so, the house stood, its secrets buried within its decaying walls, waiting patiently for the next unsuspecting victim to stumble upon its dark history. It would forever remain a testament to the horrors that lurk within the shadows, a chilling reminder that some places are best left undisturbed.